Okay, so on this channel, we have covered a ton of different bases when it comes to owning and building your own desktop PC. We've talked about, you know, how to build your PC. We've talked about what you should be putting in your PC, some great gaming mice for your PC. We talked about um, my particular um, keyboard for my PC. Um, I did a review on that, you know, and CPU coolers, stuff like that. But I haven't yet talked about microphone options at all. And it's actually kind of important because you need to be able to coordinate with your buddies when you're playing Rocket League, right? Like who is defending your goal right now, right? Um, if you aren't communicating with them, you'll never know who's defending the goal and you're going to give up a lot and you're going to suck at Rocket League, okay? So today we are going to check out a pretty affordable microphone bundle. Um, and this is the Fine Fine 780A USB microphone kit. Should you take a look at this microphone kit if you're interested in streaming, starting a YouTube channel, or just chatting with your buddies? Let's find out. What's going on guys, I'm Brian, and today we're taking a look at the budget-friendly 780A USB microphone kit from Fine Fine. For transparency, they did send this over for review, but as you should know, this will not Im impact my review whatsoever. Now, before we get started, as always, I will be leaving links to everything we talk about today in the description box below. So if you're interested in it, if you wanna kind of get this microphone or whatever, it'll be down in the description box, so you can go ahead and check that out. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech content just like this and feel free, you know, feel free to give this, this video a huge thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. All right, so this kit right here comes in at just 60 bucks and in the box, you're gonna find a ton and I mean a ton of stuff. You of course get the 780A microphone, you get a pop filter, an eight foot USB A to USB B cable, the boom arm um, table clamp, as well as the boom arm itself. You're gonna get a shock mount, um, a wind screen, um, and then you also have like a warranty tab and then their manual as well. And um, I did mention the manual last because I actually really like this manual. And for this being a budget friendly, like a really um, cheaper, cheaper option for you, the manual is actually really nice. And they took a lot of time um, showing you step by step how to use it. Um, it's not the best manual in the world, but it's colored and they actually, you know, they actually spent some time trying to show you what to be doing. Right. So that's that's always a good thing to me. So as for the design, the microphone is pretty basic. When you're buying budget products in general, this is to be expected. And as long as the audio is pretty solid, I'll be able to give this microphone a pass on the fact that it doesn't have any of those extra features. So to round it up, it includes a USB-B port on the bottom. That's it. It has no gain dial, no zero latency monitoring jack. This means that all gain will have to be applied via software and all monitoring will have to be done via software as well. I didn't care too much about the monitoring jack, but the physical gain dial is a really big bummer in my eyes. I like having that so I can change it on the fly. Anyway, as for the rest of the kit, there are two main things I, that I wanted to talk about in regard to design. First off, I want to talk about the shock mount. Although it was a simple design choice, um, the binder clip style. So it has like this, this clip style where you can grab these two sides, you can push it and it opens up. It's actually a very clever way of just kind of attaching the microphone. It works and it makes it very easy to remove the microphone if you need to. You don't have to like sit there and unscrew it. It just, you just pull those two things and it slips right out. It's awesome. Um, I also wanted to talk about the boom arm and I'm not a big fan of these kind of boom arms. I prefer the built in spring ones and I get that this is a budget kit. So I'm not knocking the kit for using the external spring design. What I will knock it on is the fact that it's really pretty small and depending on how big your desk is, it might not be big enough for you. It's barely big enough for me and I have a 69 inch desk. Okay. So if you have anything bigger than that and you want to attach it to like all the way over here, it might not work for you. As for the build quality, the microphone itself is pretty solid. It has a all metal build and the grill does not flex or anything like that. Even, you know, when you put some good pressure on it, it's, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. It's pretty nice. Uh, the remaining kit is also fine. And it's kind of what you would expect from like a budget kit. Um, I will say that I did find it nice to see a metal boom arm clamp. I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference regardless of whether the, the boom arm clamp is like metal or plastic. Um, but I didn't even get one of those with one of my more expensive boom arms that I have. Actually, the one that's sitting up, I have one right here sitting up here that holds my main microphone. And I, that one comes with a plastic clamp. So it was kind of nice to see that they, they included a metal one with this. So it's, a, you know, again, just a nice touch. All right, so the installation is super easy and intuitive, but I will run through it with you guys. Um, 
just to you know kind of show you guys what you need to do so first off you're gonna, you're gonna of course grab like your boom arm clamp go ahead and find out where you want to clamp it to your desk clamp it to your desk if your desk is two inches or thicker this will not work on your desk you'll have to either one get a different desk that's that has a thinner um uh, desktop or you'll have to find a better way to mount it to your desk because because the clamp will not work then go ahead and grab your boom arm insert it into the clamp and then there's like a knob in the back of the clamp that you can go ahead and tighten this this knob is basically to make sure that it doesn't like slip out when you're moving around your microphone and everything like that once you have the boom arm attached to your desk you can then grab your shock mount and you basically just screw your sh shock mount in um, then go ahead and grab the your microphone, pull on these pressure tabs that are right here, and then you just slide your microphone in, plug it in via USB, and you're golden. That's it. Really quick, easy process, and um, you're basically up and running right after that. Now, if you want to control the gain on your microphone via Windows 10, go ahead and click the little sound icon on your taskbar. Click Open Volume Mixer press on the sound systems icon head on over to the recording tab double click the k780a microphone click the levels tab right click on the sound icon change it to decibels and then you can go ahead and modify it as you see fit fine fine does recommend that you utilize gain levels between plus 4 db to plus 7 db for optimal performance i found this to be a pretty solid recommendation for this microphone quick note before we move on to the audio testing the manual has a ton of information um, for this use it it's actually really good how they explain everything all right so it's a new day um coming back to, to you guys to do this sound comparison test just the sound test of the actual microphone and here's like the kicker okay so if you've been listening to this video you've been listening to the fine fine 780a microphone so if you like the audio of this video so far then you will like the audio of the fine fine 780a microphone now there are some um you know things that you need to know so i did post processing on this uh, microphone what you've heard so far so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a comparison quickly through the tax star microphone the, the shotgun mic i usually keep up here which is up here right now listening to us as well um and then we're going to do the comparison with the fine fine 780a you know absolutely no processing whatsoever i might be boosting um, the gain a little bit i'm actually certain i'll be boosting the gain a little bit um as well for that just so you guys can hear it um hear it better but i won't be doing anything else all i'm doing is boosting the gain and nothing else so you guys can hear the actual reality of the fine fine versus like a 20 dollars tax star shotgun mic again this is what i typically use um and i use it because it is you know relatively you know it's really affordable all right so what I'm going to do is I have a couple things written on the screen right now. I'm going to go off and just read them as normal. Um, and then I'm going to run you guys the two clips, the same exact clip twice, but one with using the audio from the fine, fine. And then one with using the audio from my tax star shotgun mic. So you can kind of hear the difference again, nothing's gonna be processed whatsoever. So here is the sound quality difference between the tech star shotgun microphone and the fine, fine 780 a microphone. So here is the sound quality difference between the tech star shotgun microphone and the fine, fine 780 a microphone. All right. So now I have removed, um, the microphone from the, the boom arm and I have it right in my hand. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically spin around so you guys can hear the different, um, how basically how it handles noise rejection from the sides as well as from the rear. So again, I have something written, I'm going to read it off to you guys and then you guys can just, you know, compare it for yourself. Um, so now I am staring at the front of the fine, fine 780 a microphone. I am now turning the microphone 90 degrees to show off axis rejection. I am now turning to 180 degrees to show you guys what it sounds like from the rear. We are now continuing um, to the other side, the opposing 90 degree side to show you um, the off axis rejection from this side. And then now we are back to the front of the microphone. So you guys can hear what it sounds like from the, the front again. All right. So now I put the microphone back in the boom arm and in its shock mounts, and I'm talking to it as if you would, if you're doing like a live stream on Twitch, or if you wanted to record some YouTube videos, um, and you want to have like the ideal recording distance for a microphone like this. So we're about three inches away. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start typing on my keyboard, just type random sentences in this word document that I have set up. So you guys can kind of hear how it sounds. If you're talking into the microphone, 
as well as you know clickety clacketing playing games doing whatever on your keyboard now i am typing on my keyboard as well as with the microphone about three inches from my mouth so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like um, if you are typing in your keyboard playing games doing anything like that okay so now i went ahead and i moved the microphone out of like my frame of view so like somewhere if you were trying to use this microphone out of frame you know that's kind of where it's at right now i'm going to start typing on the keyboard so you guys can hear what it sounds like if you were typing on a keyboard playing games anything like that while you were um talking with the microphone at this distance away all right so as you can tell from the audio test you know the microphone is pretty good it's not too bad it's not too shabby um and it sounds pretty good even without any processing so if you wanted to use this for like your youtube channel um if it's this close i think it's a pretty good idea now if you're going to try to use it out of frame i think that's where a lot of pitfalls will fall you know will, will happen and i think you're going to really not have as good of an experience as you may want and so this leads me to my question that i asked at the end of all of my reviews should you buy the fine fine 780a microphone kit well when I first got this, this microphone, I looked at it, it felt nice, you know, went through everything. I was like, oh, okay. This is a pretty interesting kit. $60, not too bad. The build quality is pretty good. Um, but it lacks a lot of basic, not basic features, but it lacks a lot of features that you get on microphones, you know, such as the gain dial and the, um, zero latency monitoring, which those two features are pretty important for a lot of people. And for me, the gain dial was the key feature that I was concerned about. When I didn't see it had a gain dial, I was kind of, uh, I didn't think this microphone was going to work for me, but you know, I looked at the, the audio of it and I listened to the audio of it and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was okay. It wasn't bad for a $60 microphone kit. And what really, what really got me, you know, sold on this and what really made me really interested and in actually um, invested a little bit into this is I got on discord and. I was, I had actually random compliments from a few of my buddies, um, that had no clue that I had switched microphones, which was a pretty big deal because I typically run a blue Yeti. Now I'm not saying that this is better than the blue Yeti or it's the equivalent to the blue, that blue Yeti, but on my, my friends on discord, how they listen to their audio, they didn't tell a difference. And they actually thought this was a really crisp microphone, which was a pretty big deal to me. So my opinion is this. If you're on a tight budget, okay, and you don't and you don't want to go out and spend a ton of money, this is a fine kit to pick up. You can pick this up. Um, it's gonna be good for you know if you're gonna keep it close to you for like you know if you want to stream on Twitch, it's a good starter starter microphone. If you want to do some YouTube content, um, you know voiceover stuff like that, this is a fine microphone for that. Um, it depends on if you want the microphone in in, in the picture or not. If you're doing YouTube videos like this video right here. That's going to be determined if you want it out of frame, I would probably pick up a shotgun mic, something different because this microphone is not going to be, um, you know, condenser mics aren't made to, to be too far away from you. You shouldn't have them away from you. Right. All right. So if you ended up enjoying this video and you found it helpful, please give me a solid thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this. Also, if you're interested in more of my content, I'll be having videos pop up right here. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.